Uh, this is the video to, to see how to add the SSH key to your GitHub account so you can access your computer without entering user ID and password over and over. So you can actually carry this key around with you on a USB stick uh, to school or wherever you go and then uh, you can simply open that uh, um, uh, key and automatically you're going to be logged in into uh, GitHub using the key that you're going to share with GitHub. I assume that uh, if you're watching this video you have installed Git and you have st installed Tortoise Git on your computer. Um, so this is how it goes. Uh, first you log into GitHub. Uh, now I'm logged into my student GitHub account and uh, what you need to do after logging in uh, on right type hand side um, open the, the menu and click on settings and click on SSH and GPG keys. This is where you're going to add your new SSH key. Now, you have to first build your SSH key on your local computer and then upload it to, um, to, to GitHub. Um, how do we do that? Um, because you have Tortoise Git, you're going to have Putty Gen uh, over here. So you simply click on Start and type Putty Gen. And that's a key generator. So click on it then uh, uh, click on generate and when you do that uh, move your mouse inside the key area over here and just move it and that random uh, movement of your of mouse will generate a random key for you so click on generate and keep moving the mouse over here and keep moving the mouse until um, the whole area is filled in there we go. Now you have your key created. So what you do, you need to save your private key over here. Now, um, um, so I'm going to save the private key. Um, make sure you want the, um, so, so um, it, it, it asks you to have a passphrase. Uh, what it means is that if you actually add a passphrase that is, uh, let me just click yes, that are, um, that are these two, it means the key only is not, the key, uh, just by itself is not enough to log into GitHub. If you add the pass key over here, uh, when you are actually accessing GitHub, it's going to ask for the password too. So you're adding additional uh, security. It's your choice if you want to do it or not. So I chose on this thing not to do it. Now in here, you can actually put this key wherever you want. Uh, like if I'm in OP244, I'm going to put it in an OP244 uh, folder. Now I'm going to say over here, um, uh, GitHub private key. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to click save. And if you look at that directory, you will see that a file is created over there. in OP244 and it's GitHub private key PPK as you see that. That's the key that you can share with GitHub so GitHub can make sure that you are the person who's actually accessing the GitHub repository then you're not going to need any user ID and password. Uh, you can save the, save this in a, in a safe place if you are carrying it around in, USB, in a USB stick it's a good idea to add the passphrase that I just talked about otherwise just use it as is. Now that I have the key and make sure you don't close this I forgot to mention make sure you do not close this um, before do it before closing just highlight bring the mouse up here and highlight the whole key and right click and go copy that copies the key so the content the random uh, series of characters that you see is actually your key so you copy this you come to the uh, SSH keys that you have you uh, on uh, GitHub uh, web page um, click on new SSH key um, give it a name so I'm gonna say my demo key demo key and uh, uh, click over here in key and just paste it in there and click add SSH key doing that it will have the SSH key saved on GitHub now for example I want to um, download, uh, uh, say, uh, a help repository that I created over here to communicate with my teacher. So I'll go to my uh, uh, repository, private repository that I have. I'm going to click on clone or download and I'm going to use clone with SSH. So not 
not clone with HTTPS but clone with SSH I'm gonna copy that now I'm gonna go to the repository that I want to uh, I want to go to the directory that I want to create the repository in so um, I'm gonna come say over here in my documents and right click over here and click on git clone but before I actually continue with this I'm gonna check load party key then browse to the rep uh, key that I just uh, um, created select that key and click open now if you are carrying your key with your memory stick and you're at school just put your memory stick inside the computer and uh, um, click on load party key and browse and find your key over there so I'll click OK now if I click OK it's gonna talk to github pass the skate key to github github is going to match the two keys and know that I am actually the person I claim to be and it tells you that there is a key over here you want to save this key in your uh, uh, as your finger brand. says yes and there we go now I have I can openly and easily upload uh, uh, information in my uh, uh, into my git account push uh, uh, stuff into my repository and pull stuff without uh, entering user ID and password anymore uh, another thing that I suggest you to do is to uh, get the git ignore that I have in my repositories for your courses well, any repository that you pulled you will see there's a git ignore copy that one and paste it over here this git ignore helps you not to have uh, files that are unnecessary in your github account that is very helpful anyways uh, I hope this helps and you can actually um, uh, have your repositories on the on github and uh, uh, discuss your problems and and code problems with me so i can uh, um, fix it for you easily have a beautiful day